It is a problem that we see every day. It's not necessarily that visible, but it's real, and every time we count, the numbers are bigger than people would think. We need to know that it's there. We can't turn a blind eye to the reality, as ugly as it might be. But it's not acknowledged as an ongoing issue, but there's a lot of youth that are homeless out there. We've all kind of accepted for a really long time that homelessness is inevitable and that poverty is inevitable. It's shocking and saddening uh, when we think of how many people who live on the street that don't have anyone that they can count on. They just need help and they just need the supports and they need positive people in their lives. They didn't have a choice. No one wakes up in the morning to say, you know, I really wish I was homeless because that would be cool. I'm Melissa Bigstone. My name is David Burst. David Baldrill. I'm Ray Pearl. James Tejales. I have been homeless in my life a couple of times. It's off and on seven years. Off and on since I was 15. It's hell. Easiest way to say it, it's hell. They're very alone and have a view of the world. It's, it's a dark, frightening place. These kids in the cracks are the fundamentals of our culture. They're, they're the kids at the very bottom. And, and how we treat them and how we see them is a reflection on us and our society. If there is any place in the world that could demonstrate real progress towards eliminating poverty and homelessness, it's here. If not here, where? And I'm not gonna give up on humanity that easily, right? I think that if there's one problem that we can solve, it's this one. Giving a little piece of your heart is much more valuable than giving $10. And if you're concerned about somebody use, misusing that $10, there's no trouble in the world about thinking about how that young person is going to misuse some support, some motivation, some caring. And we need to remember that, that every life is valuable, that every kid is someone's sister, someone's daughter, someone's nephew, someone's grandson. When you hear my story, I want you to know that and to understand that we are all equal as people. We just come from different circumstances.